The signs of spring there, something Gaynor Drew and her colleagues from the Cornwall Support Group of the Medical Foundation for the Care of Victims of Torture will be hoping to hear on the 24th and 25th of May. They're holding an open weekend at Tremonier Gardens near Ludgevin in West Cornwall to raise funds for the foundation. And Gaynor is here with me now. Well, I've had a look at the gardens on the internet and they look absolutely fantastic. They're absolutely beautiful. There's so many different areas to it, from shady and water gardens and sunny gardens and there's sculptures there and there's a stream flowing through. And it's an absolute perfect setting for this Bluebell Festival. I didn't even know the gardens existed, actually. It was a complete surprise to me when you told me about them. I didn't either till I went there and it's a, a garden in the making and it's a labour of love really by the person who's running it and it's not open very often so this is a fantastic opportunity to go and have a look. It looks a little like something I've seen further up the country, the kind of sculpture park and nature sort of brought together and turned into something artistic really. It's very subtle, there's some um, sculptures you come across as you're walking through the wooded areas and they fit in absolutely beautiful. There's some lovely buildings that have been put out, a light room type of thing two actually there's one that has an installation it's an old water tank that has a lovely effect from above with the light reflected in the water and off the walls which is absolutely beautiful and then there's another building they've put in a sculpture where again it has an elliptical opening in the roof and you have to see it to see what it's about but it was it's lovely well looking at those photographs it certainly looks like a beautifully secluded spot with a perfect view of St Michael's Mount in the background yeah it looks right over St Michael's Mount although it could be really windy down there and cold It's warmed up really with the Gulf Stream and it's just because of the moisture and the warmth and stuff there. We've got very exotic plants that grow there that you don't see usually, a whole collection of them. Well, it sounds like you've been very lucky to get uh, use of the gardens. What do you have planned to take place there? We're going to have a couple of days with music and poetry and dance and storytelling at different times throughout the day at different parts of the garden. So that'll be going on. There'll be face painting and hair braiding and country stalls, country fair type of stalls. So we'll have cakes and cream teas and falafels and all sorts of food things as well as hat makers and all sorts of people coming so it'll be a variety like a country fair cream teas a fantastic now this isn't the only fundraising event you've been involved with for the foundation is it no no i did um, a skydive a year ago for the foundation which was very well supported i was very grateful we raised about 1500 pounds for that so we're really hoping we're going to raise a lot more this weekend So the Medical Foundation, what services does it actually offer? It treats um, survivors of torture who come to this country from nearly 100 countries in the world. More than 2,000 people turned up last year uh, through the doors. There are uh, doctors, psychotherapists, physiotherapists, legal advisors, music therapists and interpreters who work with them to help these people. And there are over 200 volunteers who also help uh, in various ways. Um, some people open their homes for holidays, some people support youngsters and befriend them and, and they back up, there's doctors and physios again, lots of different people who, who work with them as, on a volunteer basis too. And where is this work based? It's based, uh, it starts off in London and now they've got five centres across the world. The smaller centres are in Manchester, Newcastle, Glasgow and Birmingham and since 1985 when it started more than 45,000 people have sought help from Medical Foundation. Is it an organisation that's seeing an increase in its work? I think there's always plenty of people. There's usually about 2,000 people a year. The need is huge. I mean, it's the tip of the iceberg. That's why these other centres have opened up. Torture is rife across the world. Lots of the people who come, coming with absolutely no support whatsoever. This is the only support there is. And it's the only UK organisation dedicated solely to treating survivors of torture and organised violence. So what brought about your interest in the organisation? I joined Amnesty International a few years ago as a supporter. I heard about Medical Foundation through them and I heard about the work of Helen Bamba who actually started it off with some others. And it just struck a chord with me really that there's these people who come with absolutely nobody and nothing having suffered horrifically in their own countries. And this organisation is there supporting them best they can with very limited funds. But also because I'm I'm trained to be a counsellor myself, the psychological sort of aspect of it, the psychotherapy side of it, a struck a chord with me as well. And what level of support do you see in Cornwall at the moment? We started the supporters group last year, 2008, and there were about 12 people on the list at that time. It's been more or less a sort of nucleus of about eight. And recently at an amnesty event in Truro, we met some more people who've just started to join us. It's very small, but it's growing and we'd welcome anybody who wants to come along and join us.
Well, it certainly sounds like you're doing all you can to raise funds, which, of course, brings us back to the weekend you have organised in May. What are the opening times? From 10.30 till 5.30 on the Sunday and the Monday. The cost, if you want to know that, is £5 for adults. Concessions will be £3 and under 11s will be free. And what I'd like to say, too, is there is very limited access for people with disabilities. It's a diff- you know, it may be very difficult for them to get around the garden, but they can come into the main area of the fair. And it's very near Ludgeford, near Penzance, um, and there will be signage off the rain roads to get there. And also I noticed that uh, there are a couple of websites which we've been referring to all through the interview as well. So the first one for the gardens is www.tremonier.co.uk and also for the foundation itself it's www.torturecare.org.uk. Gaynor Drew, thank you very much for talking to me about the event you have coming up and I wish you the best of luck with it. 